Ukraine's antiquated air force might soon receive fighter jets from an unlikely source, Sweden. Sweden, NATO's newest member, is looking into transferring some of its home-built Gripen fighters as part of an effort to expand the capabilities of Ukraine's military. The lesser-known jet is one of the few built in Europe and outside NATO, and is designed to defend the country single-handedly from enemy attack. A donation discrepancy. According to Reuters, Sweden's government will soon direct its military to investigate how handing over Gripen fighters would impact the country's ability to defend itself, and how quickly it could receive replacements. The news could point to a reversal in the government's opinion on donating the fighters. Just last month Stockholm stated it would not hand over the fighters because it needed them for its own defense. Sweden, a Scandinavian country, does not share a land border with Russia, but both countries face the Baltic Sea. Russian fighters, bombers, and electronic warfare aircraft have repeatedly flown near Sweden from over the Baltic Sea, and in May 2022, two Russian Su-27 flanker fighters and two Su-24 fencer strike jets violated Swedish airspace. This was interpreted by some as a warning to Sweden not to join NATO, after it had publicly announced its intention to do so. Sweden, along with Finland, applied to join NATO in 2022. Finland is now a member, but Sweden's membership is being held up by Turkey and Hungary for political reasons. Sweden announced in June that it would start training Ukrainian fighter pilots to fly Gripens, and Ukraine reportedly would like between 14 and 16 of the jets. The discrepancy of training fighter pilots to fly planes it later announced it would not provide was never explained. A possible issue is that, as a NATO member, Sweden can count on NATO allies to provide backup air power if necessary. Until it is officially a member, it lacks the protection that membership in the alliance guarantees. Sweden is in the process of replacing many of its older Gripen C, single-seater, and D, two-seater, models with new Gripen E and F aircraft. While Sweden won't replace all of the older Gripens, it could pass on some of those it will retire to Ukraine. Sweden also apparently bought 14 airframes just to keep the production line humming while it transitioned from building older to newer jets. Those planes, effectively new, might also be candidates for transfer depending on their condition. The Swedish Griffin, a dark horse, Named after the mythological Griffin, the Gripen is the latest in a long line of Swedish designed and built fighters. As a neutral country, Sweden has traditionally avoided buying many major weapons systems from the United States, NATO, and the old Soviet bloc. This has necessitated building its own fighters, which also means opportunities to export those fighters abroad. Gripen is a single-seat, single-engine fighter jet optimized expressly for Sweden. It has a slender profile, delta-shaped wings, and large canards just below the cockpit. The older Gripen C, which is the model most likely to go to Ukraine, uses the Volvo RM12 after burning turbofan engine, reducing dependence on foreign suppliers. Overall the Gripen is very similar to an American F-16C fighting Falcon fighter, both are 49 feet long, have the same 500-mile combat radius, same Mach 2 top speed, and same 50,000-foot service ceiling. In terms of performance, the Gripen is like an F-16 with a slightly lighter weapons load. The two aircraft have similar weapons sets, with each capable of carrying the AIM-120 AMROM medium-range air-to-air missile, the Sidewinder short-range air-to-air missile, the JDAM GPS guided bomb, the Paveway Laser Guided Bomb, and a GM-65 Maverick air-to-ground missiles. A major plus in the Gripen's favor is that it can carry the Meteor Ramjet-powered air-to-air missile, which is considered faster, more advanced, and has a greater range than the American AMROM. The Gripen is one of the few fighter planes that have gone to battle against Mother Nature. In 2018, a pair of Swedish Gripens dropped laser-guided bombs on a forest fire, in an attempt to starve it of oxygen. One major advantage for the Gripen is that it is cheap to fly. 
a Gripen C jet costs an average of $9,922 an hour to fly, adjusted for inflation, which is far cheaper than other Western jets. The F-16C, by comparison, costs $26,927 an hour, while the F-35 costs $41,986 an hour. While this might seem like an inconsequential number compared to a plane's unit cost, it adds up, and over decades the cost per flight hour can far exceed the cost of the plane itself. Over 8,000 hours of flight, the estimated life cycle of both planes, a Gripen will cost an additional $79.2 million, while the F-35 will cost a staggering $335 million. This is a major consideration for countries with smaller budgets like Ukraine. The Takeaway The Gripen is an excellent fighter that would help rebuild the Ukrainian Air Force along NATO lines. A high-performance fighter with access to most of NATO's weapons, it's easy on the pocketbook and has some tricks up its sleeve, such as the Meteor missile, that not even the F-16 can boast. The only issue with them is that Ukraine really could, at best, expect to receive just 14 to 16 aircraft, that is, if Sweden follows through. 